Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brighton and I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark Mercari and whatnot. And today I have an exciting video today. I'm sure you already saw the title. I got my hands on a Salvation Army jewelry jar or jewelry bag, whatever you want to call it. Um, this was $30 and it looked like there was a couple things in here that might be good. I don't know. I, they only had two bags and I got both bags. So if you like this video, make sure to be subscribed to see me unbox this bag. And I also got this cute little ring. It was $10. This really pretty 925 silver and maybe carnelian ring. I don't know, but I just thought it was so pretty. So, yeah, I got that for $10. On the same night, I got the two jewelry jars. Now, you're like, Brighton, you got both jewelry jars? You should have left one for the other people. No. No, 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 no. First of all, this is the first time I've been able to find one of these in like six to eight months. Second... The lady actually got these out of the back for me. I was looking through the jewelry. They didn't really have too much. They had a ring. They had a couple brooches I was thinking about. And I was like, man, I kind of, I was like, I wish you guys had the jewelry jars again. She was like, oh, I just made two. She said, I've been putting them out all week and they've been selling the day they've been put, get put out. And I was like, oh, like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And she was like, do you want me to get it out for you? I was like, oh no, like, I don't, you know. You can put it out whenever you're planning on putting it out. She was like, no, like if you want it, I'll pull them out for you. So she made these bags. She said, she said, um, a lot of single earrings, a lot of pendants, um, and she said a lot of broken. Um, uh, but she said they are perfect for crafting and there was, you know, some decent pieces in here. Now, I'm sure you saw it. I'm sure it was glaring right in your face the whole time I've been talking I saw this. I saw this nine, possibly a Native American turquoise cuff bracelet. It looks really good. It looks like it is real Native American jewelry. Um, she did say it's broken, so I can't really see from the bag where it's broken, but she said it was broken. But um, yeah, I'm really excited. I have not been able to get my hands on one of these in forever. So yeah, I bought both. So don't come at me and be like, you should have left one for other people. No, they didn't leave any for me. <laughs> I only got two. It's not like they had five and I bought all five. They only had two. And the lady literally brought them out for me, which was awesome. She did not have to do that. Um, I have not tampered with these at all. And the guy who checked me out, was like, what are you going to do with all that jewelry? I was like, you know, I'll, you know, I'll have fun going through it. <laughs> there we go let's pull it out i'm gonna have it right here on screen again guys i wanted to give a huge 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 thank you thank you thank you for everyone who has subscribed um we hit 1k and I will talk about that a little bit later at the end of the video in the middle of the video who knows you better watch the whole thing this looks like silver. So we are starting out with a bang. Okay, let me. Okay, we have, let me see if I can. So this is costume, it is broken. This is not silver, but it is very pliable. So I'll still test it anyways, but I don't think that is silver. Um, but this looks like a silver hoop. I should have got a magnet before I started filming. It's not marked anything, but it definitely looks like a silver hoop. And then we have this. This looks like silver as well. Not this, but this right here. All right. Let's see. This 1000% looks native made. Look how cool this bracelet is, guys. I guarantee this is silver. Look at that. Look at that awesome detail work. Look at the end of the clasp. And then it has this really cool hook closure. Again, not marked anything. That is awesome. Okay. Maybe we'll do some testing at the end of the sale too. Or at the end of the video. Let me put 
Also, if I need a test right here. <laughs> if that's real, that paid for the whole box. We have a little feather pen, which is awesome. Little gold tone feather pen. Really nice. I like that. Um, oh, this looks like broken silver chain. I lied. This is a broken 14 karat gold chain. Hold on, guys. We have 14K. I love this bag already, and I haven't even opened it all the way. It is marked 14K on the pendant as well, guys. That is a diamond. Wow. Okay, we've already got a native silver, possibly. 14K and possibly a diamond. And this looks like silver. It's not marked, but I'm assuming that's silver. Okay, come on. I might fast forward this, so it may go really fast in a second. All right. So I got this untangled. This is broken. It is marked 14K. Let me. So this is broken. The clasp, the hook right here is marked 14K. The back of the pendant, let me focus it again. The back of the pendant is marked 14K. And the um, broken spring is also marked 14K. So we have 14K. And again, I am assuming diamond. So we have a 14K broken chain and a diamond pendant. Yeah, I'll take that. And then this looks like silver, so let's see. Yes, it is actually just stamped silver, S-I-L-V-E-R. So this actually looks old. This is definitely vintage and I am definitely keeping it. We have an old sterling silver chain. We have a really old, it's marked stir, um, it's marked silver. I've never had something just marked silver before. I don't know if you'll see that or not. But, okay. Yep, awesome. Put that on a silver pile. This caught my eye as I was on, um, as I was untangling. And I think, if this isn't silver, it is definitely Teton silver because it looks like silver. I don't know. I think it's broken. It is broken either way. But that's a really cool little um, necklace. Okay. Now that we got 14K and so... Oh my gosh. Do we have another silver bracelet? Oh my gosh. This is not silver. This is way too tarnished. I mean, silver tarnishes obviously, but this has just straight up wear. Yeah, so this actually kind of looks like more of an Avon kind of piece. Um, it's missing several rhinestones, so, oh well, that's broken. I'm not sure why someone just honked their horns. I hope you guys didn't hear that. Oh, look, here we have another, we have another, we have another silver piece. Guys, this is definitely going to be a really good bag. We haven't even gotten to the Native American, this looks like silver down here too. That looks like it could be silver. Um, we haven't even gotten to the um, native. Okay, we have more silver. There's way more silver in here. Wow, okay. This is marked something. 925. So yeah, we have more silver in here, guys. This is awesome. If I can untangle. This is like a whole tangle of just silver. All right, guys, I got that untangled. So let me show you what came out of the tangle. We have this little bracelet. Um, there we go. We have a little sea rolled bracelet. Um, okay, we have this little earring that's broken. Okay, piece of silver number one. It is marked 925 on the clasp and on the um, ring. The lobster claw. It, and it is also marked 925 on the back. 
So we have a little number 15. Um, I'm not sure what that symbolizes. I think it's baseball. Little number 15 necklace. That is 925 Silver Elise Mart. And then it gets a little interesting. So this was the first piece that I said right away I thought was silver. And it is. But it's better than just regular silver. It is Sopata silver. So this is a 925 silver. This is um, Sopata, I believe, India. Yes, this is made in India. Sopata has different um, countries where they make their jewelry. Some is India. Some is China. You know, they just make it all over. So, um, But where it's made also affects the value because... The China silver is actually worth less than the India silver. Um, really nice. Oh, you can't see it. Really, really nice. Um, all filigree like beads. We have like an oval link. We have an oval. We have a circle. And they are like very detailed. Very like Moroccan. And it's marked 925 India. Sopata. Just really, really nice Sopata necklace. So we didn't just get one Sopata necklace. We got two. We got two. We got, there we go. We got two Sopata necklaces. This actually, my friend has had this, I believe. Um, and they are all little heart charms. Super cute. This is a heart with embossed hearts. We have like little different stylized hearts on either side. This one has like some like almost Chinese, if not like scratching scratches on it. I don't know. Um, so we didn't just get one Sopata. We got two Sopatas. We have 14 K. Whew. This box is going to be a good one. Or not box. I shouldn't say box. Bag. This was a very good $30 scroll spin. So we have a Signa pen. Okay. We have, we have another little puffy heart. This is not silver. This is um, Gwen. But it has a ton of wear. So that is craft craft over there okay, I think I already showed these but in case I didn't we have a guitar little pen we have a stretchy um, rhinestone bracelet we have a Sarah little keychain we have a copper and silver tone and brass tone bracelet and the bead spins on there so that's kind of cool there is some gunk on it so if i can clean it i will if not that will go to craft um we have a belt buckle i believe we have a belt buckle it's missing a ton of rhinestones so that is craft we have a silver tone ball chain that says boom zoom <laughs> said boom um, we have a broken pen back. Okay, we have a necklace that is marked, but it is broken. What was it? It was probably Avon, but it's broken, so. Craft. Ooh, this is pretty. I love vintage rhinestones. I love some vintage rhinestones. Look how pretty that is. Look how pretty. Oh, I love that. This is just gold tone. Um, but definitely vintage. I love that. Love that piece. Should we make up pieces here? But I'm gonna test those pieces anyways. Okay, we're good. Um, we have a clip-on earring. It's nasty. It's craft. We have a little beaded necklace thingy thingy. I don't like that at all. It's craft. Um, we have a super worn out. It could be native, but I don't know. I don't think so. I'll put that to the side. 
Um, we have an earring that says love. That's right there. Have, ooh, this is a really pretty um, black rhinestone earring. She said there's a lot of single earrings, so I'm not really expecting there to be matches. Hoping, but I'm not really expecting. This is really nice. I love this earring. I hope we get that match. That is just absolutely stunning. I love that. And it looks like all the rhinestones are there. All the rhinestones and all the faux pearls. That is, I hope we get that. That's pretty. Again, not expecting to. She said she already said there was singles. Um, you have a, like a little puffy heart earring. Um, we have a hoop that's broken. It's cracked. Um, earring. Guys, also, I weighed this. This was just shy of five pounds. It was four, four pounds and like 12 or 13 ounces. So really very similar weight as a Goodwill Blue Box, as a Thread Up DIY Box. So um, this is all broken. These are all broken beads. Let me put all the broken stuff in this bag. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Broken in there. Okay, we have a bunch of little bracelets. None of these look like gold or silver. Um, but they're nice. Okay, I think we may have hit, like, the best stuff at the beginning, and now it's kind of like, meh. Here's a little gold tone, like, inklet or bracelet. It's a little fashion piece of Kate 2 style encore. Unfortunately, my clothes mentor has, is closing. Um, they are no longer accepting any buys. Just the whole store is closing. This is a little faux pearl. It has a little bit of wear. I'll see if I can clean it. If not, that'll just go over there. Um, earring. So yeah, so they're closing. They are not buying anything. I like taking my stuff there because they liked my bigger, chunkier pieces. Um, where Style Encore did not like my bigger, chunkier pieces. So that was unfortunate. That, I mean, it's sellable. Um, I just don't know if I will or not. Okay, this has wear on it, so that's going to craft. We have a single earring. So far, no matches. Actually, I take that back. This looks like there's two earrings mixed in here. And it is marked 925. Let's see. All right. So these are going to craft. They are a match, but they have a ton of verdigris. These are marked 925. And they do look 925. So that is awesome. So little 925 little hoops. Really nice, like oval. In shape and they are marked 925 on the earring back so that is awesome I'll put that in my silver pile which is getting a nice nice size okay this I saw through the bag and I was like oh my gosh that's so cool is that Harley Davidson it is leather but I think this is a watch if I am yes and it is Charles Dillon I don't know that brand but we have a Charles Dillon like motorcycle leather um, watch bracelet. So that is awesome. We'll definitely have to do some Googling on that. These, I believe, are nut and shells, but unfortunately, um, I think it's coming apart, so I'll have to see if I can just trim those. If it's not trimmable, um, it's going to go to craft. We have a cute little hairpin. That's pretty. Um, we have, oh, this looks like silver. I don't know if it is. It might be pewter. This might be pewter. I think this is a low pewter um, hairpin. So that's really fun. And I believe vintage. I think that's pewter. That's cool. I like that. It's pretty dirty. Sorry, guys. <gasps> guys, is this gold? No. Okay. I got really excited for a quick second. <gasps> I thought I saw gold. Okay. Let's see. Okay, so I got it on Tangled. This is a this is a Betsy Johnson necklace. So the um whole chain is little gold tone hearts. And then it has this really pretty little castle. 
really pretty tassel um, with a little bow and a key and a faux pearl. Like that is just so sweet. I love this piece. Like in some Betsy Johnson can be like rare. So this could be like a really good one. Could not be, but it could be. Um, come on, flip over. So really nice little Betsy Johnson necklace. I like that a lot. That is definitely a good sellable piece. Okay, that was good. This looks like it could be silver. Just a little fashion earring. Another fashion earring. Here we have a pen that's missing a ton of rhinestones. This is perfect for my crafting though. I like that a lot. And we have like a little space pen. It looks vintage, so that's cool. This is a broken earring that's craft. We have a earring that's over there. We have another earring, but this one has somewhere to it. But I might be able to clean it. I don't know. Okay, we have a little bag of just seed beads. Craft. Um. Okay, let's see. My, again, I might have to fast forward this. Alrighty, I'm back. So first thing we have is this like broken toy thing that's craft. So then we have this little antique gold tone. It is Mo Monarch Inspiration. It does have some wear, so that's unfortunate. Um, this is Mart. So this is a really pretty like pink mother of pearl locket opens like so and the locket itself is not marked but the chain is 14 karat gold filled so we have a little gold filled little locket and chain really pretty i love the little design around the pink mother pearl so really nice it's a good piece and then we have like a little fast fashion like claire's kind of little cat necklace so, which I'll probably just get my knees. All right, so that was everything I have out. Oh, awesome, we got some Halloween earrings. I will definitely be using those closer to Halloween. It's always good to have holiday stuff. Okay, we have a, that has a ton of wares so that is going to craft. That's craft, that was craft. Okay, then let's see, what is this? This is a K, it's a little bracelet. Just says K on it. I see no marks anywhere on the neck bracelet, but it's a little initial K. And then it has like little tassels and it is adjustable. So that is a nice little bracelet that's sellable. We have an earring. We have, this is craft. This is cool, but this is broken. So that is craft. That's craft. Okay. Okay, we started off so strong. We have a clip on earring. We have a clip on earring. We have a dangle earring. We have a watch back. This looks pretty. Oh man. We have two. We have a ton of dead stones on this. I will try and clean it, but this will probably end up going in my crafting bin. That is really pretty, but I'm going to, I'm going to have to try and see if I can fix that up. Okay. This is a, what is this? Is this 925? Don't think so. Earring. We have another little earring. Just making sure we have no 925. Nope. Little earring. Another earring wire, a broken earring. Look how cool this is. This is Japan. We have a little parrot. It is like a lucite. Yeah, it's definitely like a lucite. Is marked Japan. Look how cool that is. That's awesome. I love that. I like that a lot. We have little charms. <gasps> we have a ring. It is marked nine two five on the back of the ring. Which is, um, if you saw my amber ring that I got from my good friend Charisma over at Collectibles for Resale, that one is also stamped, and it was amber, and it is also stamped on the back of the band, not in the inside. So that's awesome. 
So this is about a six, seven, seven, seven and a quarter. I'm going to have to figure out how to wear it, but I am definitely going to be wearing this sucker. We have a little amber ring. This is the bag that keeps on giving. Super nice. Awesome, awesome. Put that on my testing pile. All right, we have a little earring. Now I'm like being sure everything's not silver. This kind of has a silver look to it. I don't think so, but I might. Um, man, I wish I would have got the ones that she had. Oh, we have another ring. We have another ring. This one is definitely a fashion ring, and it does have wear. So that is craft unfortunately we have a little tie pen is this a Cerakov? what is this it's not marked but definitely kind of has like that Cerakov kind of look so it might be good maybe um we have a fresh ring if anyone wants to look fresh it's a ring interesting okay these are little pens those are craft 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 this little earring looks like gold but it could not be but um i will have to test that that looks like gold okay and then we have another little earring not anything spectacular okay craft 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 earring craft craft earring craft um crafts uh, okay I'm trying to go fast guys but there's just so much stuff and I don't want to break anything okay so that's let's see this looks like it could be silver oh yeah let's try this out okay this looks like this could be silver um I don't know but it's really cool interesting looking I don't think it's silver actually the more I look at it it might be. I'll put in the test pile. Okay, this is cool. What is this? This has mellow, um, glass beads. I don't want to yank on it because it is very delicate chain. Hi guys. Okay, I'm back. I had a I had a pause. Um, I untangled a little bit. Um, it's a few hours later, but we are back and I'm going to show you the rest of the stuff that I got. I already emptied the bag and untangled. There was a ton of tangles, but, 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 are you guys ready for this? We got, okay, just looks like, you know, kind of like a New York and company, really pretty, just little oval link you know necklace nothing too crazy you know nothing too crazy bam we got another another sopata necklace so that makes three that makes three sopata necklaces so far so that's awesome. Love that. We love Sopata. Let me adjust my camera really quickly. Okay. Um, next thing I did was able to untangle this. However, the chain is still tangled. The chain is still tangled, but this is a 925 Mart. Right there. 925 Mart little amethyst heart pendant and 925 chain. So score like that. Put that on the test pile. Um, we have this. This looks very native to me. Um, so that was kind of cool. It's like a little charm. Not sure if this went on that chain from earlier or not. Um, we have a single earring. However, it is marked, I believe that is marked 14K. Okay. 
you'll be able to see that or not. But I believe that is marked 14K. So we have a little 14K um, um, single earring. Nice. Another piece of 14K. I will take it. All right. Next, we have like this cute little sweater clip. It is marked. It is not marked. Not marked, but really pretty. I love the bling. Love the bling of that little sweater clip. Unfortunately, we only have one. Um, we have this pretty worn little ring, and then we have this ring. They're both pretty worn, but they're cute little fashion rings. Um, we have this nice little, um, I'll probably be keeping this piece. This is a tiger's eye bracelet. I love tiger's eye. So I will probably just be keeping this one. Love that. It's a me piece. I got this little single, it's like a wooden carved wolf. Coyote, I'm not sure, but it's really cool. Unfortunately, it was a single. We did not get matches. This is also another single earring. I believe the earring itself is fashion. However, someone hooked a little 925 cross charm to the back or to the hoop. So that is a little not marked 925 little cross. So I'm going to take that off of the hoop, obviously, and save that. This is a long, unbranded, but really cute, actually. Um, really, really long, actually. I think I'm going to give this to my aunt. I think she would really like this. But let me focus it. It's really nice. It has these really cool, very, like, Moroccan... Very, like, Moroccan um, stations along the whole chain. So that's kind of cool. It's sellable, but I'm going to give that away. Um, we got this um, little sun catcher. So that's kind of cool. I like that. We have this little bracelet that looks very much like J. Crew, but it is not marked. It's pretty. We have a bead. Oh, this was cool. This was really cool. And this was too. Um, this... I believe is an onyx stone on like a leather cord and this is alpaca Mexico so this is alpaca Mexico it is not silver it is alpaca um and I just I love that design on it and then the now the end caps do have some wear as you can see it's a little bent up not perfect but it's still really cool. I love this bolo. Love bolo. This was awesome. This is a vintage Sarah Cove. Let me show you the mark. This is Sarah Co. This is Sarah Co. It says, but I believe it's Sarah Cove. Um, right there, Sarah Co. It is like a um all enameled um rose peony tulip. I'm not sure. Tulip. I think that's a tulip. But just stunning, stunning. I love the enamel work on this. This has got to be old. And I'm assuming this is will do. This is a good piece. Look at the, um, that enamel work. It is just stunning. I love that. And that is a Sarah Cove. Um, we have a little um, U.S. Um, is that Army or Marines? Or no. One of the branches... We have a little fashion. It is a mood bracelet with a little um, lobster. So you can tell your mood. We have a supreme little keychain. I'm sure it's fake, but it's still really cool. And then I'm sure what we're all, everyone was here looking and waiting for. We have this absolutely stunning, stunning, um, turquoise cuff bracelet so it has this amazing silver work design on there so we have that stunning leaf feather i want to get this i want to zoom this in because this is really really nice stuff um stunning stunning look at the craftsmanship so this is the flaw 
It is missing the big cabochon piece of turquoise that goes right in the middle. But it's still really cool. And then it keeps going. And then it just, it's just, it's stunning. On the inside, it is marked KM. I have not done any research yet. No sterling markings whatsoever. But it did have a retail or a price tag of $250 on the inside. So that is crazy. I got this in a $30 jar. Along with, don't forget, 14K, three three Silpata necklaces, some silver chains, silver ring, just all in all amazing. So, wow. All right. Next is this really pretty, these are glass beads, I believe. Glass or ceramic? I think they were glass. Really pretty purple. The chain does have a little bit of wear. But I'm um, just really pretty. Are these wedding cake beads? I always get it wrong. Um, really pretty little glass beads. Um, we have a single earring. We have a hand painted wooden brooch. Sorry if you guys hear my dog. Hold on, guys. All right, guys, I am back. I'm so sorry. My dog started barking and crying and because someone came to my door. But we are back. Um, and I was showing this, I believe I was about to show this off before, um, I switched. Um, and this is a gold mesh cross pendant. It is so cool. It kind of gives like way, Whiting and Davis kind of vibes a little bit. Um, unfortunately it does have a little bit of wear, but I am still going to try and clean that up because I think that is really cool. I like that. Um, next we have some... 925 sterling silver paw print charm. Now these are not 925 paw print charms. So let's see. Oh, these are pretty. Okay, so we have like little glass like faux Pandora charms. This one's my favorite. I love the flower work on that. These are pretty. Little pearl, um, little flowers, florals. Well, this one is marked something. Is it? No, it's not. Are any of these marked? This one is marked 925IBB. 925IBB. You want to know that one? That one's marked. This one is not marked. This one is not marked. This one is marked. This one is marked 925NJ or JM. So that one's marked. Put that there. And this one is not marked. So these three are not marked. These two are marked. So marked, not marked. Either way, really pretty charms. Uh, and I dropped one of them. I don't know where it is. Oh, there it is. Okay, I'll pick it up after. Okay. We have like a little, is this Nirvana, right? Nirvana? Little um, bracelet. This is the um, bracelet that I was trying to get out earlier. This is the Alpaca. Alpaca Mexico Bangle Bracelet. Super nice braided little um, alpaca silver. Which, if you know, alpaca is not silver. There's actually no silver in it. This I already tested. And the ear post is 925 silver. Unfortunately, we did not get the match. So that is unfortunate. But still really nice little earring that I will save and add to my little charm pile. Um, let's see. This does test for 14k. Um, so, unfortunately, it's broken. But yeah, the gems are really pretty. And I'm assuming if it's 14K, it is, um, it's either a garnet or a ruby. So that's awesome. Okay, let's see, let's see. Um, we have this. I need to test. I forgot to test this. Um, a little, like, silver post earring. If it is silver, gold, um, 
If it is silver, it's just crap. Um, we have a little green and gold tone. No gold on this, but it's still really pretty. These are Mark Stir, um, but I don't, or is it Stud X? I can't remember. Um, little gold tone, I'm going to say for now, little earrings. I think one of the only matches we got, and we got a second pair. So we got two pairs of them. This I thought was really cool. This is a purple ceramic, hand, like a hand-painted uh, hand ceramic grape pendant, and it's marked. I cannot tell what that says. Maybe you guys can. But really cool. That was interesting. We have a Hawaii keychain. We have some Christmas earrings that look like they are matched. We have a stainless steel heart butterfly um stainless steel heart earring. We have another little stud X. Next, we have a another bolo. Is it bolo? It's a necklace, actually. It's a bolo necklace because this has a clasp on it. Interesting. No markings, but it does have some wear, so that's unfortunate. We have this, like, oh, it's broken, so it's gonna craft. Um, I got this little 7-Up can that is just adorable. Look at a little 7-Up can. Um, let's see. Oh, we got this hand-painted, um, really pretty flower on wood brooch that is marked. Really nice. I like that. And then single earring, a broken locket, just a fashion, really tangled gold tone pendant. Oh, this was interesting. This is the United States Navy pen. This is a pen from the United States Navy, a ribbon. Um, and it says fidelity, zeal, and obedience. Um, it is broken. No, it is. It's, it's in good shape. So it's a little Navy pen. That's really cool. Gotta look that up. And then we have a, this was awesome. I thought this was so cool. It is like a claw holding a, like a clear quartz or a clear marble. It's just silver tone, but I just thought it was so cool looking. And then we have a single origami earring, a single clip earring, and a stretch bracelet. That was my lot. That was my box. I'm thrilled with it. I think this was a great lot. Um, let me put the single earrings. I put all the single earrings in this bag. And we had a ton of single earrings. These are all single earrings. Put all of these in here. And yeah, so let's go over my favorite pieces really quickly. I know this is a pretty long video. Um, this is sterling silver. I already tested it. This whole bracelet tested for sterling silver. So we have the native silver and turquoise cuff. The Silpata is legit. I did Google, um, I did not Google them. I did silver test them and that did test for silver. This earring, the post tested for silver. I can't remember if the rest did or not, but that tested for silver. Um, this was mixed. The chain is testing for silver. The pendant is not. I'm wondering if there's maybe a rhodium coating over the pendant. So that, I don't know yet. The little amber ring is also testing for amber. Or, um, testing for silver. This 14K and diamond, guys, I used my diamond tester. Did I already put it up? Where I put my diamond tester? I'll test it for you guys. But I think I already put my diamond tester up. This did test for 14K and the diamond did test for a diamond. So that is 14K and diamond. Best piece in the lot. Um, this, unfortunately, shockingly, is not silver. So I am wondering if it is maybe alpaca or maybe it's Mexican silver. Um, I don't know. But I thought for sure this was going to be silver. And it could be silver, just not 925 pure. So that was unfortunate. These little earrings 
are testing for silver. This one is a little, little bit out of shape, but they do test for silver. Um, this little earring, the ear hook is marked and tested 14K. The rest of the earring does not. So the ear hook is 14K. The rest of the body is not. Um, this whole little um, baseball necklace did test for sterling. The silver chain that was marked silver did test for silver. This little itty bitty cross did test for silver. I'll probably put that on that chain. The Silpata, and this is actually a rare, not rare, rare, but a more on the rare side, harder to find Pandora necklace. Um, that is the test for silver. And then the last but not least, this, um, this um, Sulpata also did test for silver. So, almost, almost everything that I thought was silver tested for silver except for this. Oh, and then this earring tested for silver as well. So, a nice bit of silver right here on the table. Um, we got three, three Sulpata pieces. That's just insane. This turquoise cuff is insane thank goodness i saw this you know because that led the door for all of this we also got but not silver but still good we still got the betsy johnson necklace so the betsy johnson necklace i'll put that right here we i got the alpaca bangle bracelet put that right there i got the tiger's eye bracelet i'll put that right there um we have the cool feather pen brooch right there we got the 14 gold carat gold filled little locket put that right there we got the um sandor pen put that right there we got this really pretty um vintage rhinestone necklace so put that there we got the another alpaca this is a bolo tie so that was cool put that there um, let's see, we got the hand-painted brooch. That was cool. Oh, we got the motorcycle watch. That was really cool and interesting. So that's cool. And I think that was it for, like, the really good pieces. Yeah. So that was my box. Guys, don't forget, I have a second... Ugh, I have a second jewelry jar that I got from the same night... Um, so if you guys want me to open it, make sure to, look, um, make sure to subscribe, hit that heart button, hit that like button, and comment that you can't wait to see my next jewelry jar. Um, also guys, announcements for my giveaway. I will be going out of town for about two weeks, possibly three. Um, and I'm leaving in a couple days. So... I will not be able to do my giveaway this week or next week. So I will have to pre-record my next two videos. Neither of those videos will have the giveaway announcement in it, but I will be doing a giveaway as soon as I get back from my trip. So as soon as I get back from my trip, we will be doing a giveaway. And um, yeah, so just stay tuned. I'm sorry for the delay. Again, it was extremely last minute trip and um, yeah, so if you wouldn't mind still subscribing and checking out my videos, um, I will be having a giveaway coming soon. All right, guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye.